So what do we think about that last episode of Samurai Jack? We got lots of things to talk about, so let's see what we got. Hello beautiful geeks, how is everybody doing today? This is Lewis coming to you once again with another Samurai Jack review. And now we have Season 5, Episode 8. That's right guys, we're almost getting to the end. I'm excited, I'm sad at the same time, but let's talk about what we have to talk about right now, which is that episode. So, before we get started guys, don't forget, spoiler alert, this is gonna have stuff that if you haven't seen the episode yet you should definitely put this down and come back later once you do so but in the meantime let's get right to it okay so i think we can all definitely agree that this was a filler episode but it had a silver lining around it so we start with jack and ashy trying to find a way through their city and they get into like this giant camel looking thing, which is like a bus, I guess, which transports people. Uh, because why not? You know? So we get in this bus and she and um, Jack and her are having. To, this is the closest we've seen them. You know, they're sharing a close space together. And we see interaction between Jack and she uh, almost like this. Uh, I don't want to use sexual tension, but that's kind of what it feels like. So throughout the whole episode, this is what is building up. And it's going to lead us to the end, which we're going to talk about in a few minutes. So basically, she and Jack are becoming really, really close. And you see that they both kind of are feeling something, but they just don't know how to react about it. Uh, you know, Jack gets red. He's like, oh, you know, uh, uh, we are too close. And then she makes this joke, which she's like, something's poking me. And it was his sword. Ha! Good job. I see how you guys are trying to do that penis joke right there. But I felt like it was a little unnecessary. But hey, I'm going to let it pass because it is Samurai Jack. So we, we have a little fight scene with this like cat, green cat creatures. Who have letters on them which spell let's kill Jack or death to Jack or the Samurai Jack Jack has to die uh, very very noticeable that they are there to hurt them so they have a really cool fight scene between the two of them and it's kind of like a uh, Mr. and Mrs. Smith kind of fight they're fighting and then there's this kind of sexual tension in them as well so fight comes to a conclusion they get out and they are basically walking and I forgot to mention at the beginning of the episode we see that this spaceship which turns out to be a space prison crash lands onto earth which leads us to the part that we're about to talk about basically as she and Jack are walking and then they see this uh, fortress as they're running away this uh, prison uh, cell slash uh, fortress that fell down from outer space and they get uh they go into it you know and they're looking around it you know they're doing their thing and uh, and this is where I, my point about it being a filler episode comes in it's like uh they came out with this episode just because they say okay we have 10 episodes the big showdown's coming down but we need something in the middle to build a relationship between jack and as she and that is the whole purpose of this episode guys it is a filler yes but the silver lining is the fact that this relationship is developing between jack and as she or it kind of has been developing if you really think about it because they have you know they've been together for what about what has been like three four episodes already and in Samurai Jack time, that is probably a lot longer. They've probably been traveling together for about, I want to say, two weeks, three weeks, maybe a month, who knows. But they've been traveling together, and they've been getting closer, and she has seen how good Samurai Jack is. And she likes what she sees. While in this fortress, we're treated to the next awkward scene. And, and what I'm calling it awkward, guys, is because if you think about it, 
Samurai Jack, even though he has an age, technically he is in his 80s or 90s. Let's say he started his journey when he was 30, 50 years have gone by, he's 80 something years old. And as she's technically, I, I, I don't know, they don't tell us her age, but I want to say she's in her 20s? I wouldn't be surprised if she's even younger. You know, just because she's been training all her life to fight doesn't mean that she's been training for more than 20 years. But in any case, we have a scene where they finally make it through uh, to this place and there's this like slug monster that has escaped from this uh, prison that has a little crash land on earth. So they're looking around and the slug monster attacks Eshi and it's just like one little slug and it like poisons her and Jack sucks the venom out which is cute slash creepy if you think about it but hey. So they find something that it's supposed to destroy this monster, they are playing with it, blah blah blah, and this eel looking things, these slugs actually eat away as she's uh, leaf made dress, and Jack gets so embarrassed, you know, he's like, oh my god, you're naked, <laughs> you know, uh, men and women have different parts, blah blah blah, and then she's like, what are you talking about, bro, it's all good. Let's, we're fighting right now. Why is that a big issue? She, she was very nonchalant about the whole fact that she was naked. So he gives her, her the robe. And again, they're fighting side by side, very close to each other, surviving together. Adrenaline is pumping to the nines and to the tens, guys. They are going ham at this little slug monsters. So they're trying to still figure out how to use the freaking device. And they finally figure out how to use it. And. As they use it, they shock the monster, and the monster dies right as they almost die. And this brings us to the part of the episode that I'm still trying to process, just because the way it worked after they were, you know, doing their thing, and they were scared, and adrenaline was pumping, there was this breathing, you know, just heavy breathing between both of them breathing 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 and then all of a sudden next scene they're making out yeah that's right guys my man jack and as she are making out and it wasn't just like a little kiss that that shit looked french she had her tongue all out my boy's jack i can tell you that much so that's where the episode ends so we don't know if maybe my man jack got to use his sword again if you know what i mean or maybe it's his first time using his sword. I don't know if uh, we've never really seen if Jack, we've never even seen if Jack has been interested in a, in a woman like that before. So this is a turning point. If we get past the creepiness and the weird episode that we just watched, it's another turning point. Because, like I said, Jack has never truly shown anything for another woman. And with a she, they're kissing. And uh, I wouldn't be surprised if the next episode starts with them waking up together, you know? And whatever happens, I have a feeling, guys, and I hope I'm wrong. I really hope I'm wrong. Like I've said it before, that a she is going to die. And I hope I'm wrong because Jack deserves happiness. And like I said before, I also believe that he's not going to make it back in time. So those are my two predictions. Hopefully I'm wrong in both of them. One prediction, Jack's not going to make it back. It's going to be impossible to make it back. He's just going to have to defeat a coup in the future. And he's not going to have to... He's not going to be able to go back. Uh, and my other prediction is the fact that she is going to die. Now, I may be completely wrong. I hope I'm wrong, as a matter of fact. And... For all you know, they both end up going back in time. And they live happily ever after, you know? Which is what everybody's hoping for, but I, I don't know. I mean, I feel like that would be the best closure to the show, but I honestly don't know. I would love to see Jack and Ashi with some kids, racing them in old school Japan, you know, uh, before Aku took over the world. That would be amazing, but I don't know. I just don't. It's, it's, it's going, I don't want to say too well or too happy for Jack, but it, all the pieces are falling down in a perfect little puzzle tetris puzzle so i feel like there's gonna be something negative and maybe that's just the cynic in me maybe i'm wrong i hope i'm wrong again i can't 
emphasize that enough that I'm hope I am 198% wrong. Make it 200% wrong because I do want Jack to be happy. And the way this past episode described, his happiness is with a she as of right now. Or who knows, maybe it was just the adrenaline, but at the same time, throughout the whole episode, they were flirting, they were, you know, touching each other, and being awkward with each other. So, I think they really do like each other. So, that was pretty much the episode, guys. I mean, there's not that much detail to go into for this one, because like I said, it was a filler. Uh, I don't care what anybody says, it was a filler. It was just a filler that had a secret... Uh, purpose behind it that is the only difference about this filler he had the purpose of introducing us um the law of relationship that jack and she are having or are about to have but as she is definitely going to be fighting by his side by the time the final battle comes around we still have to see the Scotsman. We don't know what happened to him yet. We know he's a ghost. He's looking around for Jack. But we haven't seen him in, what, two or three episodes? So hopefully we're going to see some of him in the next episode. If you guys looked at the sneak peek for next week's episode, it's Jack walking around in a field and he says, I know this place. So maybe it's a place where he fought with the Scotsman at some point. I don't know yet. It, it wasn't really clear. But whatever this is building up for guys it's going to be amazing and again hopefully i'm wrong with my predictions hopefully he'll get his happy ending because he deserves it he's been wandering this earth for 50 plus years he definitely deserves to be happy so with that said guys that ends our review what do you guys think about this episode of samurai jack please let me know in the description below not in the description that's for me i always do that in the comment section below guys let me know what you think about this episode i personally know my favorite episode if i had to rate it between 1 to 10 i would give it like a 4.5 just because i feel like it was just an excuse to have Jack and as she make out and I feel like they could have done it differently But again, that is just my opinion uh, I, I didn't like it that much. I like that. There's love developing between them, but Again, I feel like it was a little creepy uh, Maybe a little I don't know what's the word I'm looking for uh, a little too out there maybe I don't know but I think you guys know what I'm talking about but in any case ladies and gentlemen and beautiful geeks thank you so much for watching guys if you enjoyed this video as per usual do not forget to like subscribe and throw me some beautiful lines down below with a comment you can tell me good things you can tell me bad things I take it all thank you so much guys please 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 stay awesome and whatever you do don't forget to geek on your man Lewis is out samurai style. Watcha! Take care, guys.